Can we talk about Issa Rae and Amanda Seals? Can we talk about this? Can we get into it? So a few years ago, Amanda was at this Emmys party, right? And she had got kicked out this party. I want us to go back and kind of listen to what she had said in this video back in 2019 when she got kicked out. She then goes on she, and she's always told this story. So it's something that has affected her to this day because she constantly speaks. She constantly speaks on it to this day. Like it's just something that always bothered her. OK, so she continues to talk about it. And five years later, it's no disrespect to her. It would be good if she was able to kind of heal and move forward. But I don't get to make the decision on when a person does that. OK, so I have to you know, just deal. Um. But I want us to check it out because she talks about that. And then Issa comes to the front and she has some stuff to say. But this is more so what she said. I don't think we're going to listen to the whole thing, but I want to listen to some of it. OK, because I, I wasn't sure how I felt about the Issa situation. And I haven't even heard Issa's comments yet. But as I think about it more, I'm kind of thinking about it like. If it was a party that was invite only and somebody that just got an invite told me to come and the invitation didn't say plus one I'm not going I don't care if it is an industry party right um unless they could tell me that their invitation says plus one then I would go right but maybe she wasn't thinking that because it's a black Emmys party so you're assuming that everybody is welcome if that's the case, I feel like my black ass could have put my dress on and walked up to the Emmys and thought I was going to get in, too, because this is an event for everybody black. Right. That's what I would think. But, you know, I'm not in her situation. I'm on the outside. I'm on the outside, girl. So in case y'all even care, this is what happened. I got to the Black Hollywood Emmy party last night with my homeboy Kendrick and my homegirl Kiki and we were being escorted we we're being entered into the party when the woman at the door a white woman named Kiara was like stop she can't go in no she's not on the list she can't go in now Kiki was walking in and they weren't stopping Kiki um, and Kendrick was walking in but I was targeted out and was like she can't go in she's not on the list so Kendrick was like I don't even understand what what Right. And I would have been like this too. Like, the security guys thinking? were like, yeah, I don't know. It's been like this all night, just politics. I don't know. So I'm standing there just like, wait. So, so it's been like this all night. That leads me to believe more people tried to get into this party and was not on the list. Therefore, had to go. So to me, it seems like she may not have been the only person that was forced out. Okay. So I stand there waiting and now I'm getting perturbed because there's just no reason like it, the shit is not popping like it's not like there's a crazy line outside like there, there isn't people spilling out from the inside like there's just no reason for like me to be standing out here and being like told like no you can't go in um so then I was like you know what I'm out so I go to the curb and then another homeboy of mine is like what what do you mean they won't let you in he's like we're gonna fix that so now, like 15 minutes later, he comes, gets me, brings me back and was like, she should be able to go in. And this same white woman, Kiara, is like, no, she cannot go in. She cannot go in. And it was in that moment that I realized, like, oh, this is like about me. Like, this is not. Now, in actuality, I should have took my ass home when I walked up to a black Hollywood party and a white woman was the gatekeeper. Because the optics of that let me know that whoever is in charge of this ain't really thinking on a bigger scale of things. And I don't yeah, like parties went to home. begin with to even put myself It's in. It's giving, but you got more than one time to tell me that you don't want me. Okay? I mean, like, you ain't got that many. Okay? Um... I let me go ahead and head out to save myself further embarrassment because that's enough embarrassment right there. That Kiki, you came with your walked her ass on into the party. I ain't even sound like you said Kiki even turned to look back to see if you got in that bitch. But Kendall sound like he like, what the hell is going on? You had one friend, it seems like to me. Um, but yeah, like, girl, what? I would have left in. After that, I don't, I, we about to get into more of what may have happened when she got inside, but I feel like that was twice that they said, no, girl, I'm not even going to give you a third time. Let me say face. Let me take my walk. Of girl, let me go ahead and exit. I'm not going to hold y'all. Okay. But who is Kiara? 
the white lady. Situations like that. But I was really hyped up because so many of my peoples were like, come through, come through, come through. People were in there, people that were coming, etc. So I really was just like, whatever, let me just gung-ho. Um, but nonetheless, I was still outside my ass at the Velvet Rope because this woman, Kiara, was just not having Amanda Seals enter the party. Then Elijah Kelly comes out. And Elijah Kelly is like, why are you out here? <laughs> and I'm like, I, because this woman will not let me in. And he was like, what? Just, just come in, just come in. So I'm coming in and she's like, no, no. And he was like, just go, just go. And I just went and I was like, yeah, because I don't know why this woman Okay, see, that's where I feel like the lady was doing too much. Now, granted, right? leave you don't have an invitation you're not on the list it's, it was an exclusive party i understand it was supposed to be black emmy's party but i'm sure there were plenty other black actors that were not invited but at the same time you know how if you like go in walmart or something and you buy something and sometimes the the people would be like can i check your bag like they may do too much sometimes it's like we're just like giving one item like okay like do you need to flag somebody down for that sometimes the people can't take their job a bit too serious okay uh, we've seen it on TikTok and how people react. So it could have been a situation like that where she just was doing too much. The white person, right? Um, maybe it wasn't. I mean, I don't know. I just feel that two things can be true. One, but you wasn't invited, so you should have left. And then two, um, Miss Girl could have been doing too much because after you was in there, it could have just been like, okay, like she ain't here, like, girl, whatever, right? But some people take it that serious of doing their job so set bent on me not entering this party i go in the party and i literally just go and stand by the bar jay august comes over and is like what's up amanda and i was just like you know what i don't even know what's going on but for some reason i am not being allowed in this party so when kiki and i got in she had went one way and i went the other way by clearly. the time she came back to the bar she thought that just like i was talking to people clearly in the party. she no did. a security guard was talking to me because the security guard was dispatched to come and remove me y'all Y'all, who this make y'all think of? It's no even. It's not even no disrespect to Amanda at all. I don't really have an issue with Amanda. You know what I'm saying? I I like Amanda. Okay, I just analyze the stuff from my from my own opinion. Okay, my little piece of vantage point. Ma'am, when security arrived after being told to go. Who is y'all thinking about the makeup artist they got kicked out the wedding and then got kicked out of two of them back to back? I don't know why. Um, the signs were there. The signs were there. I'm so sorry. Like, it pains me to go back and, and slick not agree with Amanda on this. Just a little piece. Um, just a little piece. It's the signs were there, ma'am. Okay, should have been left. Had you left when we told you to get out, or you weren't supposed to be here, or your time is up. Thank you for your services. This would not have happened. And then you came to the internet and pulled, in my opinion, and it's no disrespect. But I'm just saying with the I'm just saying with little um pull the makeup artist TikTok where you try to make these people seem like they were wrong for not allowing you into a party that you forced your way into. They were wrong for telling you to leave their wedding slash reception after your job has been completed and you've been doing too much all day. They were, do you see, are y'all seeing what I'm saying? Like, I'm so sorry. Like, it's, that's just what's connecting for me in this moment. And I, I'm, that's just what I'm thinking, okay? From the party. Yes. So I'm standing there like, I'm not leaving this party until you tell me who is saying that I need to leave the party. He's like, all right, I'm going to find out. So he's looking, he's like talking on his phone. And then he's like, Vanessa, Vanessa is saying that you need to leave the party. Vanessa of the AMPR group. And I'm like, mm. really? Mm -hmm. That doesn't surprise me. So I'm standing there talking to him. And my when, question is, who threw the party, though? Was it Vanessa that threw the party? Was it, um, here's the other thing. It's so many layers to it and, and how I think about stuff, right? Uh, was it somebody else that threw the party? And if it could have potentially been somebody else that threw the party, then 
you know how, let's say your friend may feel a way about something and you want them to tell somebody something and the friend be like, I'm not telling it. I'd be like, give me the phone. I'll tell them. You know what I'm saying? So it could have been a situation where somebody else actually felt the way about you potentially. I don't know. Just somebody else felt the way about you. And then, um, Vanessa decided to say, I'll tell them. Don't worry about it. I'll, she knows who I am. I'll tell her. Just tell her it came from me. I'm sending her home. Right? Like, like she wasn't invited. She wasn't on the list to come. Just tell her it's from me. So it could not be Vanessa alone. I mean, it could be. I mean, I, y'all, are y'all seeing what I'm saying? Like, it could have been somebody else. Okay, but I'm seeing in the chat now that some of y'all are saying that it was Issa assistant and, and somebody says that it was Vanessa and somebody else that threw the party. Maybe it could have been Vanessa that felt the way. Maybe the other person could have felt more of a way and was just like, listen, BLT. Okay. Maybe she stood up for a friend. Potentially. I don't know, girl. Maybe she just didn't like you, bitch. Consider that. So once you find out who it is, like, oh, yeah, I would have glad they got the hell out because I know this hold on, with me. It all makes sense now. Let me go. Elijah Kelly comes up again. And it's because like, I, I'm one to believe that should, had Amanda had her own party, Vanessa wouldn't be on the list. And if she tried to enter, based on the personality that I get from Amanda, she would also tell her to leave. Bye. Nah, y'all can tell her, like, nah, she can't come in here. Oh, she know. Well, huh? What's going on? And I'm like, they're saying that I need to leave the party and I need to be escorted out by security. He's like, what? At that moment, the general manager of the event or of the venue comes up and is like, you need to leave. They need to escort you out. There's no discussion that needs to be had. I'm like, there is a discussion that needs to be had because there's no reason why. He's like, you're not on the list and you need to leave. You're not on the list. And I was like, fine, Vanessa. Fine, Vanessa. I would like to have a discussion with Vanessa because I need to understand what threat I pose to this party. There are several people who are in this party that are not on the list. Why am I being singled out? No, I don't need to discuss that with you. Two more security guards come up. And my question is, how do you know that there were several people in the party that were not on the list if the security or whoever had already told you that it's been happening all night, that they have been turning people away? How do you know that? Maybe somebody told her, I don't know friend Kiara who comes up and says no I'm the one who says she needs to go Kiara I'm the one who says she needs to go I'm the one so I just want to reiterate for you one more time as I was saying at this point out loud so let me just get this straight I am being escorted out of a black Hollywood party the only one that happens for the Emmys I am being escorted out because this white woman here says that I can't be in here I just want to get that clear and y'all saw me say that in real time on my Instagram and they were like yes you need to go so now I start walking out and I turn to the general manager who has been nasty since he walked up to me. And I was like, this is some bullshit you doing wrong. And as I did this, his lackey, some white, some white boy walks, moves in and presses up against me and pushes me back. No, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Um, who did it wrong would be you. You may have should have been on that list to begin with as a black person in acting and a lot of your co-stars and you know workers and stuff were there but at the same time for you to be escorted out after they told you multiple times that you're not allowed in you forced your way in i think that they have every right to remove you from the premises right um so for you to turn around and i understand he's been nasty and i get it you probably got in your fields and i'm not saying you shouldn't have because that's embarrassing right but at the same time to turn around and say you're doing this wrong it just makes me think that, no, you did it wrong by continuing to hang around and allowing other people to convince you that they could get you into this party. Not taking no for an answer and just saying, hey, I'm going to go ahead and go home. I'm going to go ahead and go home. I'm going to like, uh, y'all got it. Like, it's OK. It ain't no big deal. I'm good. I'm going to go home. And not at all. Am I really hearing yet? I don't know if we'll hear that in this piece. Did she call Jesse? Because he's the one to invite you. If somebody is inviting me somewhere and telling me to come somewhere, I'm showing up there with you. I'll wait in the car or wait where I wait until you get there. Because you invited me to this. Right? Like I went to uh, Tulum the other night with my homegirl. She invited me to that. Where you at? She pulled up right before me. I was right behind her. Okay, perfect. You invited me to this. Okay? So I'm walking in with you. I'm not going to just be hanging outside and just somebody randomly see me 
And like, oh, come in. And then the folks at Tulum, like, oh, no, but you got to go. <laughs> Girl, what is this? What, what, what you think you're doing? You're not supposed to be here. This is giving exclusive. Uh, you don't have to tell me more than once, honey. So I'm not going to turn to no manager thinking that I have all the power or whatever it is and say, <laughs> okay, and say, that, like, you're doing it wrong. In addition... Girl, I just don't see my friends leaving me, bitch. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm so girl. My, my friends, I just don't see them leaving me. I just don't see. I just don't. That's just not something. Mm -mm. The, Cause it's really good. You don't treat my friend right. It's giving you want to go somewhere else. Cause we ain't gotta go in this mother. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's giving. I see somebody over there getting an attitude or whatever with my friend. It's really giving you okay. No, I'm just trying to understand what the attitude for, though. Because it's a way to tell her that she ain't got to come in or she can't come in or whatever the case is. So where you get the list from? Like, I am I'm, 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 I got questions. I'm, I'm interrogated at that point. Because first of all, I need to know who you get an attitude. That's the first thing I need to know. That's, no, that's number one. Who you talking to? Okay? Girl, it's the never giving. I'm going to walk off on my friend. It just gone straight into the facility and just whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's not giving that for me. So, I mean, that's just really interesting, girl. But, you know, this is old, but we gonna keep going. Y'all, it was about to be World Star Night. It was about to be. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because I really am not here for being touched, especially by men who are trying to exert authority that I do understand. for no fucking reason. I do understand and expecting that. Don't put your hands on me. Word of the week Don't to their me. authority that they are exerting. What I, for what I know to be a falsified reason and also just an exertion of authority. Like, that's the thing. Like, you know, a lot of times people want to exert authority, but they want to do it at such an extreme level for no reason. I'm not fighting. I'm not loud. I'm not belligerent. I'm simply saying I would like an explanation. And they're saying, no, you don't deserve an explanation. But they gave you so, now, a piece of an explanation by telling you that these people did not invite you there. Like, or these people are telling you that you have to go. It wasn't so much as why, it was so much as who did this order come from. And once you learned who it was, there's that. I've got four security guards telling me that I need to get off the premises immediately. And thankfully, the first security guard, though, he's the one who stopped it from being a world star night. Because he was like, miss, we don't got to do this. We don't got to do this, miss. We don't got to do this. We don't got to do this, miss. We don't got to do this. We don't got to do this, miss. Kiki is in the general manager's ear like, are you fucking kidding me that this is happening right oh, now? Oh, not Kiki like, want to really talk. Are serious this is happening? Not Kiki want to talk. Kiki, where was you at before she even got inside? What, like, where was you at? Well, you heard them reject her. Are you absolutely serious that this is happening? And he's like, I mean, we're, this is how it has to go down. This is how it has to happen. So I then leave the party. So it's just for the record, Amanda Seals, I'm speaking in the third person. I was escorted by four security guards out of the Black Hollywood Emmy party last, last night. Uh, for so that's what was said then, okay? It's about this publicly. Because it has always been incredibly important to me to protect Issa. Because Why? I know that Issa is doing something within this business that so few people get to do. Mm -hmm. And it's not something I desire to do. I, f I don't know. It was your desire to protect Issa because she's doing something great and because you worked on her show, so I get that. But when has there been a time for Issa to be protected? Like, I'm, I'm not interested in getting... It's, it's interesting, you know, when we watch stuff and we see and we may feel a way in that moment and then when time passes, you watch it again and you just may not have... The same feelings about it. You know what I'm saying? It's just $100 million dollar production deal. Like, that's not a life that I want for myself. But I know that her role is very important. And so I've always protected Issa. Um, however, there's just been enough instances at this point where I should have been protected by Issa and I wasn't. And one of my biggest problems that we have discussed several times in this interview is that I I think people are going to show up for me the way I show up for them. Mm -hmm. And now it's at a point where my protecting of Issa has become turned on to me and something that people are using against me. There's a whole narrative that is completely false that people keep spinning. They keep saying, you know, that I'm this mean girl on this set, that I, that I, uh, that I harmed these people on this set. I just want to point out something very basic. How can I be a mean girl on a set that ain't my set? Never talked to uh, A lot of actors are mean girls on the set. That ain't they said. Like, we've heard that a lot. A lot of people can be a mean girl on the set, and it ain't theirs. It's, it, because sometimes with mean girl comes entitlement. Um, and that could be enough to, to make one feel like that's how you're operating on the set. It's about this publicly. 
because so Issa says this and I would never work with the gang I mean anybody who's on the podcast to shit about me I just mean <laughs> So she says she'll never work with Amanda Seals. Okay. She'll never work with Amanda Seals. Um, After she sat down and talked SHI about her on a podcast. Now I remember when this story went viral um, (laughs) with the kicking out of the situation. Didn't um, Insecure came back after that. I feel like their last show was like in during the pandemic or something like the last season. I could have sworn Amanda was on that show because we all was talking about her. Um, and the AKA attire she had on and all of that. So Issa could have wrote you out the show. Issa could have been like, girl, we good. Uh Uh-uh, baby. But she didn't. So it seems like, in a sense, to me, she probably protected you by making sure you had a coin coming into that pocket, just a little piece, okay? So I don't know how far she wanted Issa to go, but here's the thing to me. Even if Issa would have tried to protect you, and first of all, it's crazy a little bit that you're asking for more protection from Issa than the people you actually showed up with. But that's none of mine. Let's keep going. My thing is when it comes to the Issa situation, Issa could have came and said something to her assistant and to her or, or, or her publicist and that person or whoever, and the answer still could have been no. So... I don't understand why it would be solely on Issa and Issa would be 100% wrong in a party that she did not throw. Right? If my best friend throws a party and I have a friend that I like and she may not be fond of and you come to me. Yes, that is my best friend, but I did not throw this party. It was not my coinage. I did not do the planning. I did not make the guest list. It's not my fault. I went and did what you asked. She came back to for me to tell you in the nicest way. Fuck no, is what she said. Okay, whatever beef you guys have is with y'all. And I always say that when it comes to friendships. I If I got friends and y'all be, that ain't got shit to do with me, I'm not going to pick nothing. Okay? I'm going to pick my purse up and I'm going to go to the next location. Who's coming? Like, if y- y'all sort that out. Y'all grown as hell. Okay? But I'll go tell her what you said. That ain't got to affect our friendship. She just don't with you. But don't think I'm going to sit up there and talk with you about this person. That's one thing I don't do. You know what I'm saying? We can have a completely separate relationship outside of this person over here. But if you think, like, if she says no, the answer is no. So after you mentioned, after, and I'm glad we went and we listened to her breakdown, because after we went back and we listened to her entire breakdown on everything that she had to say, it's giving you were in so many wrongs. And not even in so many wrongs, you really were in one big wrong. No, nah, maybe a few. One, one of the wrongs was entering after they told you no and continuing to move forward. Two, refusing to leave and then demanding an answer as to why, who told, who sent you or who told you to leave that three for me was finally leaving then turning around and putting your hand in somebody's face and telling them, oh, you're doing this wrong as if you didn't do it wrong from the beginning because they gave you the hint twice for you to go ahead and exit. And that's what you should have did. I feel like you got about five rejections in one night that could have saved like you could have been saved after the first two. And honestly, after the first two, I don't know if she went out in the parking lot and called Jesse, but I would have been calling Jesse on the phone. Like, yo, why are you inviting me to this party and I ain't even on the list? What's that about? Did he even issue you an apology? Because then that for me is giving unprotected because he didn't protect you as well, in my opinion, because he the one that received an invitation. So if he received the invitation, wouldn't it click to him that this is an invite only event? <laughs> I just think the finger is being pointed at the wrong person. And if the finger is being pointed at the wrong person, I question why. Was there some other situation happening between you and Issa and you wanted to blame her for it? Could there have potentially been a bit of, I don't want to say envy or jealousy. Could there be a little bit of that? Um, Is it because her name is bigger and you want to attach that to her? I'm not sure. But um, 
Maybe it was something else happening behind the scenes as to why she would project that onto Issa. But honestly, I think there were three people that did not protect you, actually four. Kiki, Kendall, Jesse, and yourself. That's just what it is that I think. Okay? And that's the thing. Is Jesse in the room with us? <laughs> did he even show up to the party? Why he over there telling you to come? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Either way, good luck, all right?